Hey y'all, Eliana Silver Dragon, back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. Uh, this is a little later in the morning than I usually do it, but I had to do chemistry homework, so fun. Just, <laughs> I'm glad I'm recording it all on a Thursday. <laughs> now, there should have been some mail. Can you run over to the mailbox for incoming mail and check if there's anything that's been delivered? I'm almost regretting putting the mailbox so far away. <laughs> See, brilliant. A letter. Oh, from AAE as well. They say they support me fully in my explorations out here in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, and that I should expect to supply new resources soon. This is excellent news. They also write that they're happy to hear I'm actually alive, and that they thought I'd disappeared forever. We've, we've got you to thank for that, Eliana. So there we go, Eliana. The camp seems to be in some kind of order, even if it needs a little... Even if it clearly needs a few... Mm, I can't read. Even if it clearly needs a few improvements to bring up the comfort levels a little. Most importantly, we've made a start and we've got the support of AAE. Now our exploration expedition can begin for real. Do you want to help me explore the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? Fantastic! This is great! Then we're a team. As a thank you, every day this week I'm going to share all my information. Everything I know about this place. Oh. What's up, Herman? Hi, Eliana. Come to Govic Stables as fast as you can. Exciting stuff has happened. I can't say more than that right now. You never know who might be reading this. See you soon, Herman. Is that... Huh. Weird. I'll... Go there later. We can all explore and find things in many different ways. Some ways are better than others, and some are, well, garbage. You should remain aware that different approaches are necessary for different purposes. And you should always ask yourself, is this, what is the purpose of my expedition? The answer will always let you know the approaches you should take, which will then make it clear which equipment you should have. I want you to finish off my map of this area. You'll need my half-finished map, a pin, a pair of and a pair of binoculars to check angles, and figure out different positions and such. At the same time, I also want you to capture images of some places, and that's of course the easiest if you use a camera. The half-finished map, pin, tripod, binoculars, and camera, you should be fully equipped for the task. I send you out to the places where I feel it's important to fully document the geography and thus complete the map. Don't leave anything behind at the places you document. Explorer must never lose sight of their equipment because that's how expeditions fail. Understood? Right then, a summary. Sorry, trying to repress the yawn. Using triangulation, you'll work out the distances between different destinations and so be able to complete the map and take pictures using the camera I'll give you. Completely clear, right? Oh, you want to test the equipment first? Clever. A real adventurer always tests their kits. How about this then? Take the kit out and try documenting that spot over there by the edge of camp. Have a go and come back to me when you're done. You can go over the procedure one last time before you head off on your expedition. Go, you're slow. Photograph the landscape. I hate these. I hate these quests. I, mm, I don't like them. It just takes so long. You examine the area and calculate the angles. I can't handle any more math right now. <laughs> Uh, chemistry is not fun. Not fun when you don't like math. <sighs> oh, my glasses. Pick up the map.
That looked promising. I suppose you could have held the camera a little higher up and changed the shutter settings to be able to get a better exposure to compensate for snow reflections. Otherwise, it was okay. Righto. Here, take the equipment and you can be off on your first real expedition. I think you could probably get started by exploring and documenting the frozen Vale Dale down there. Veil vale Lake down there. The lake makes up a central part of the crater. The water level is now much lower than it was at the time the lake was filled. As at the time when the lake filled the whole crater. As always with ice, be careful. It can break, and there are cracks to look out for. You need to be very, very careful if you don't want to fall through into the, the icy water. Come back to me for a debrief. <sighs> when you've documented the four places on the frozen Vale Dale, Vale Lake, whatever it's called. I'm gonna have to get a cold car on horse, this is annoying. Okay, um, this is very, very boring. I will put on some music. Totally forgot what we left off on. Um, let's go for Still Got Flair by the Miscreants from Star Stable. This is Say Goodbye by Lisa Peterson from Star Stable. Here I am, though I wish I was braver. We all came here today for a last 
Up. That's in the game. What in the actual? I didn't know they had a sound for it. Oh my goodness. Like, I legitimately did not know they had a sound for that helicopter crash. I need to go back to Nick. Um, I'll finish off the song. dinosaur. I've only ever heard mentions of it in the in the old travel logs of the early adventurers and I've always wanted to see it for myself. I feel strangely elated over this awesome skeleton. Some kind of connection from the past that I can't, pl can't quite put my finger on. A little like I've got a really strong sense of deja vu. You've taken some really outstanding pictures. I'll work through some of this new information and I might come up with an, some additional information related to this later. May even need to send a report to AAE about this and see if they have any more information for me. We need to know more. What time is it? I can still go. Okay. We need to an analyze the bones. Take the skeletal samples from various locations on the skeleton to this test thingy. With this test thingy. The paleontological department at AAE would then analyze the results. <laughs> what I said? Polenta? No, no, no. Polenta is a tasty corn porridge. P-A-L-E-O-N-T-O-L-O-G-Y. Paleontology is the study of prehistoric life and organisms. Cool, huh? Uh, this is what everybody gets confused between archaeology and paleontology. Archaeology is the study of humans. Paleontology is the study of dinosaurs. Pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, we're paleontologists working in the valley of the hidden dinosaur. We're real scientists. Uh, sorry. Science woman and uh, science horse. Hmm. Oh, you say scientists, whether it be men, boys, women, girls, or horses? Don't ask me why. The ice is old. For a scientist, it can tell us a lot about the past. If you study the different layers of ice, you can learn about what the climate was like before. The ice on this lower lake has been properly protected from outside influences until the Great Collapse in 1912. AEE have expressed a lot of interest in this, and they want us to drill out some ice cores to send them for analysis. While you're out on thin ice, can you take some, um, some ice samples? Take this ice drill and drill for ice cores that we can send to AAE. 
I'm going to talk about the Great Collapse, or ask about it. The winter of 1912 was a rough one. The expeditions in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur were in full swing, but that winter was so harsh that they had to suspend their adventures due to snowstorms and heavy snowfall. The snow was thick and heavy and covered the crater's already delicate roof of ice. The reinforced ice beams started to moan under the weight of the mass of snow that had fallen onto the roof. It became increasingly obvious that the roof wasn't going to be able to support the weight of all that snow for much longer. The expeditions made the decision to evacuate the Great Hall of Ice. Sadly, not every adventurer understood how serious the problem was, and some didn't even get the message that they had to evacuate. They sounded the alarms, but they hadn't been used for a long time and didn't make a single sound because they filled up with ice. In the end, the roof gave away with an almighty crash that was heard all the way to Yorvik Stables and disappeared into the crater. The explorers left inside the crater and never made it out. That relentless winter continued and snow covered the valley again, making the path that led here totally unusable. No explorers dared to go there after the news of the Great Collapse, and the valley was no longer an attractive target for exploration. In part, it was because it was much harder to get here, but in reality, it was because the people were too afraid of all the unstable ice after the collapse. The valley was then all but forgotten, and has lay here untouched until now. Oh, Ileana. Didn't that sound like something fluttering to the mailbox over there? Mm, I promise. I heard it very clearly. Could you just run over and grab the letter and I'll get my glasses while you collect it? I will do this. There was a letter? Knew it. Let's have a look. I couldn't find my glasses, but the letter was written so properly that it should be fine to read anyway. Hmm, I don't know whether this is good news or not, Eliana. Professor Einstein from York City University is apparently on her way here. Have you heard of her? No, no, not that Professor Einstein. I'm talking about Professor Elsa Einstein, the world's leading researcher in the field of quantum sem sem semantics. You'd never heard of her. Lucky you, I was about to say. You see, Elsa Einstein is known for her meticulous accuracy and precise planning in everything she takes on. Contrary to how I usually structure my research, you might say. What she'll do here? There's nothing here that's got anything to do with her research, so I have no idea. All I know is that if she and I work together, it'll fail within hours. She's apparently on her way here by helicopter. She must be mad. She must- oh, that's type of mad. She must be mad. The winds over the valley took my balloon down straight away, so I'd hate to see what the bad weather would do to a helicopter. Let's see, it says here she should have gotten here yesterday, apparently. The mail here isn't so fast, Ileana. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Ileana? Exactly. The weird noise we heard earlier must have been Professor Einstein's helicopter crashing. We have to save her, Ileana. The sound came from the other side of the lake, I'm sure of it. Ride there and look, and I'll see if I can find a first aid kit or something else useful in my refrigerator. Hurry, Ileana. I will do that after I collect everything. Oh, this is what we get from, um... Nick. This little jacket. That off. Drilling for ice. Yeah, man. Stop. Honestly, ice cores are such an amazing thing to study. I want to, I want to do so many things in science, it's hard to tell exactly what I want to do and what I don't. I just think it's so fascinating how things can be trapped inside the ice like that, and you can analyze it and just see how different things lived and how the Earth was thousands, even millions of years ago. I, I love it. It's... <laughs> uh. I probably shouldn't get into my science talk because I will go crazy. As much as I was saying I did not like chemistry earlier, I love biology so much more. Biology is actually what I'm studying currently um, in college. 
Um, right now it's supposed to be veterinary medicine, but I'm thinking of changing it to maybe something with genetics or evolution, because that is probably the most fascinating branch of biology I can do. I still love learning about medicine. I still love learning about how different things can affect the human body, but there's just genetics and evolution seem so much more amazing to me. And if I can do something with history too, like, um, for instance, I was watching a documentary about, um, Otzi the other day, um, and how they were talking about how scientists were studying Ochi and seeing how he lived and seeing how, um, Otzi proved that our understandings of different, of how prehistoric humans, that's not right ancient humans. Ah, oh, forget- what is the actual word for them? I don't know the actual word, but humans that lived, um, thousands of years ago, for example. How they truly lived and how it's not so different from how we live today. It's quite amazing, to be honest. Okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Okay. Professor Einstein. Hmm. Who are you? Well, hello to you, Ileana. I'm Professor Elsa Einstein. Are you by any chance a qualified helicopter mechanic? No? How about Chinese? Do you speak Chinese? No? Last. My knowledge of helicopters is basic at best, and the manual I found is in Chinese, which is one of the few languages I've yet to master. You have to understand that I simply don't have time... Don't have time to spend 3.7 days through reasoning and logical thinking to learn either how helicopters work or indeed the Chinese language from the manual. By that time, I'll have frozen to death in this miserable place. Well, now that you've turned up, a solution to my problem appeared. Such good fortune. Without risking your horse's health, two people should be able to sit on horseback with each other and ride along with the same efficiency to the nearest place with some kind of civilized temperature. Now, Liana, how does one get up in the saddle? In theory, it's very simple, but I notice that in practice it's much more difficult to perform than my movements in order and accuracy as the theory requires. You'll help me. Thank you. That's kind of you. Now you get to steer Now you get to steer this vehicle to civilization before my body temperature reaches a critically low level. Jeez, I'm, I already don't like this voice I'm doing for her. <laughs> and jump. I've never noticed the shadows they put on the horses like that, being in the valley. Hmm. Um, I'm going to finish up, say goodbye, just because I'm going to have to end the episode soon, and I want to end it without having to uh, figure out where I am, what songs. And my sound's not on. earth is this place? Oh, would you look at that. Nick Stone ground. Thanks. The paleontologists at AE are dying to get these test results. Great ice cores. Now we need to send them the express delivery so that they don't melt on the way. I'll submit in fabric, styrofoam, and foil, and hopefully they'll survive the journey. There we go. Those samples have all been packed into boxes and ready to be sent. Could you try to squeeze them into the outgoing mailbox? It's really important that they get to AAE so that we can see my work. So they can see my work here is in full swing. <sighs> Thanks for all your help, Eliana. It'll be really exciting to hear what AAE has to say about these. Um. I want to go see what Herman's all about, but at the same time, quest. Uh, fine. 
Nick Stoneground, I see that, as usual, you've used your unstoppable talent for ineptitude to build some kind of camp. How will you ever be able to conduct serious research in this kind of uncivilized setting? We can discuss this issue later. I see you have a fire burning and it must be only a matter of minutes before my extremities have frozen to the point where you could snap off a finger. Nick, before I warm myself by the fire, I must remember to convey the greetings of the board of the university. They want to express their congratulations to you on your discovery of this valley, and they look forward to the first results of your expedition here with great excitement. They also say that they will unfortunately not be able to fund your research any further before they get to see some results. With that said, Eliana, I can now declare that I've never been so happy to be so close to such a primitive fire. Ah, precious warmth. Oh dear, oh dear, no more funding. That's quite a setback. Oh, Ileana, if I'm ever going to be able to make any proper discoveries, I can't have Professor Einstein poking around all the time. What's she doing here anyway? She hasn't said anything? What? Is she related to Albert? Well, yes, she is, but she's from the smart side of the family. Hmm, if she thinks this camp is so awful, then she's welcome to improve whatever she wants, just as long as she doesn't bother me and my epic plans. Tell her that from me, Ileana. Hello to you again, like young Ileana. What am I up to? Well, I, um, you know. Right, listen, my recent experiments with the practical application of quantum dynamics weren't so popular with the university management. They were quite miffed that I built a very small nuclear reactor in order to generate enough power to run my devices. I assured them that it was harmless, but apparently it didn't matter. They were completely irrational and re refused to listen to my entirely logical explanations. To cut a long story short, we agreed that I'll pursue my research elsewhere until this whole affair has settled down. Because apparently the authorities weren't very happy to s some type of a hydrogen bomb in the middle of York City. Why did I build a hydrogen bomb? It was just a completely ordinary and entirely banal experience. I'd never intended to detonate the bomb for real, and certainly not right then in any case. Well, well, not everybody can be rational. For some reason, the university management found that this distant, isolated location... Oop. They just heard about sounded perfect for me to conduct my research in. So here I am. Unfortunately, all my equipment was lost in the helicopter crash. So I don't really know what to do now. Um, I will get to that later. For now, I'm going to talk to Herman. <laughs> okay. Um, Sunfield Farm. I'm going to finish up with, um... And that was it. Cool. Now let's go talk to Herman. I really just want to make sure this quest um, doesn't go away because the text quests are annoying if you log out in the middle of it. It worked! You got my text. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm not going to do Epona yet because I don't want to unlock a new area. Instead, I am going to do, um... I'm going to focus on the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur for a while. So, uh, that will be it for today, y'all. Thank y'all so much Thank y'all so much for watching. I will try to record tomorrow because I don't think I have anything due that's so too important. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all later. Bye.